before we even started examining the 1987 murder of Margaret McWilliam, I knew geographic profiling was going to prove very important. What I didn't know was the impact that meeting Margaret's parents, Charlotte and Ivan, would have on me personally. In spite of their outwardly calm composure, their grief remains something very real, something very palpable, something just beneath the surface and that will never go away. Geographic profiling was developed in the 1990s as a scientific technique to help identify serial killers in specific. And it looks at patterns of locations and the relationships between those locations, where a perpetrator lives, where a perpetrator works, where a perpetrator kills, and where a perpetrator disposes of their victims. In using this technique, in the case of Margaret McWilliam, the squad was very quickly able to identify a second crime. In comparing these two cases, the squad then needed to determine what type of offender we're dealing with here. And geographic profiling breaks down offenders into four categories. The hunter, who stalks, preys, and kills on their home turf. The poacher, who always attacks and kills while away from their home turf, while on the road. The troller, who acts opportunistically or impulsively and whose locations can vary between both the hunter and the poacher. And finally, the trapper, who as the name suggests, traps their victims, lures them to specific locations or into specific circumstances. In Margaret's case, I think we're looking at either a hunter or a troller has either targeted her specifically or targeted users of that path specifically. The squad theorized that if this second murder that bears so many striking similarities to Margaret's was in fact related, that the location was key. Modern digital geographic profiling is especially important in cold cases. It helps us narrow and edit our focus and brings us one step closer to catching a killer.